In this video, we'll balance the equation for the decomposition of NH4ClO4. This is ammonium perchlorate. This is kind of a challenging equation to balance. So let's count the atoms up and then balance it. We have one nitrogen, four hydrogens, one chlorine, and then four oxygens. Product side, we have the two nitrogens, we have one hydrogen, plus you've got to count these two here with the water. That gives you three, one chlorine, and then two oxygen atoms. But be careful because there's one more here with the water. So make sure you count everything up correctly, the hydrogens and the oxygen specifically. So let's leave the nitrogen and the oxygen to last because these are by themselves. Those will be easy to fix. Looks like we could fix the hydrogen here if we were to put a 2 in front of the HCl. So let's update this. 1 times 2 is 2 plus we have the two here with the water. That'll give us four. Now we have one times two though, so we have two chlorine atoms. Might as well just put a two in front of the ammonium perchlorate. One times two, that gives us two of the nitrogens. The four times two, eight hydrogens. One times two, so that does balance the chlorines even though the hydrogens aren't balanced now. And then four times two, that gives us eight. We said we were leaving the nitrogens and oxygens till last. So to fix the hydrogen atoms here, I need to have eight. So two plus six would give me eight. I think I'm just gonna put a three here. So I have the two plus three times two is six. That gives me eight. And that still keeps the chlorine atoms balanced as well. I do need to update the oxygen atoms though. So I have two oxygen atoms plus the three times the one, three, and that gives me five. And then here is where it gets a little confusing. How do I get five and eight? How do I balance these without messing everything up? So what I wanna do is just work with this oxygen here, because if I change this, it won't change anything else, the nitrogens, hydrogens, or chlorines. So if we think about the coefficient here, something times two plus the three would give me the eight, that would be balanced. So something plus three gives me that eight. Five plus three would give me eight. So if I put five over two and I multiplied that by the two here, the twos would cancel out for me. So then I would have five plus three gives me eight. And this equation would be balanced. The problem is some teachers, they don't like the fractional oxygen here. If that's the case, you can multiply all of the coefficients by two. So I'd end up with two times two, that's four. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. Two times five over two, the twos would cancel out. That would give me five. Two times three is six. So let me clean this up. And if you wanted whole number coefficients, this is what you'd end up with. Four, four, two, five, six. This is a very challenging equation to balance because first of all, you have to make sure you count the oxygens and the hydrogens up correctly. And then you get to this situation where you need to use a fraction to get the oxygens to balance out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NH4ClO4 decomposing. This is ammonium perchlorate. When it decomposes, it produces all of these are gases. I think all of these are gases, so it can be quite explosive. Thanks for watching.